Hello. In this episode, I'm going to explain the import of data into GOMINSPEC. GOMINSPEC can import a variety of different formats. For instance, you can import IGES and STEP files for CAD data. And you can import STL, G3D and many more for measuring data. Now, there are many more supported file formats. Please check the direct help for more information on supported file types. You can always open the help via this question mark too. So, here you will find the list of all possible import file formats. Let me begin with the CAD data for an inspection. To import any data, you can go to File, Import, File. However, you can also use the Windows Explorer and drag and drop the files into the software. If, for example, I drag and drop the STEP file into the software, it instantly recognizes the file type and opens the CAD import dialog. The CAD file will be converted to a triangulated mesh and therefore you can specify the mesh resolution. The CAD mesh density should correspond to the mesh density of the measured mesh. The structure repair mode is by default on automatic. If you have poorly defined CAD data, you might also try other modes. Just click OK to import the CAD. The data appears now in the Overview Explorer as a nominal CAD element. The blue color is also important. Keep in mind that all nominal elements are displayed in blue, also the deduced elements, such as geometry elements based on the CAD. You can also drag and drop the corresponding mesh data. Please note that those elements will become actual elements in the Overview Explorer. Therefore, all nominal elements are blue and all actual elements are green. This is the main color concept in the software. You can also import point clouds. This dataset was created with a laser scanner. Just import the data by drag and drop. Now you have to convert this point cloud into a mesh. Go to Operations, Point Cloud, Polygonize Point Cloud. Open Select All Points of Elements with the right mouse button. The software displays a live preview of the resulting mesh and you can make changes to the parameters. Click OK to polygonize the point cloud. You can use this mesh for inspection now. GOMINSPECT also supports the import of volume data. The software generates directly a surface mesh. Different materials from the scanned object will result in separate surface meshes. Again, just drag and drop the data into the software. You can consult the direct help for more information regarding the supported file formats, which can be imported. The preview image shows cross-sections of the object in the coordinate system directions, which you can change. The material is presented in red and air in black. You can also change the position of the cross-section for each direction. The histogram shows the gray value distribution of the volume data. Peaks in the histogram indicate different materials. The black marker represents the background, whilst the red marker represents the material. You can also add a material, which will be displayed automatically in green. If you change the material selection in the histogram, the preview image shows you the changes. With Reset Gray Values, you can estimate the material values automatically. As mentioned, different materials are imported as separate surface meshes. To tidy up the meshes, use Select Patch and click on a surface mesh. You can then use Invert Selection to select the data not belonging to the surface meshes. Go to Edit, Delete Selected 3D Area to delete the data. In the next episode, I'm going to show you how to perform a simple inspection.